going on everybody I'm going to go ahead and hit you guys with a uh, tag video this one is called my first time tag and before y'all start going dirty and whatnot on me we're not talking about that first time I'll, I'll probably give y'all that video maybe in 2016 but that'll be in a tea time talk because it's personal shit but just some firsts in my life all right so like i said what i'm dragging on like i said got that uh you know crystal light you know that uh Concord great. Mm hmm Gotta stay hydrated. <clears throat> Alright, so <clears throat> question number one. First YouTube video you ever watched. I don't know exactly what the first YouTube video was. But I'm pretty sure that it was either music related or wrestling related. And chances are it was probably music related. <clears throat> uh, first person I subscribe to on YouTube, it's going to have to be Social Like Sandy. And, <clears throat> you know, it was that. Uh, actually, I'll talk more about what I was about to say in a later video. But first, because uh, like I said, I was on YouTube, I think, and I was in South Korea, and I was uh, trying to find. Uh, certain shows <clears throat> because again you know we don't get the shit in Korea so having to find a lot of the shows I like to watch you know having to wait <clears throat> to maybe like a day or two later after they come out and I was searching on YouTube and I found one of her videos and um <clears throat> I don't think I, it's gonna, I, I don't think it's one of the questions but it was uh love and hip hop I'll like I said I'll um yeah I'll either leave a link down there or put an iCard in here but it was about the uh, Mimi and Nico from uh, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta sex tape. And I near about fell the fuck out laughing. Near about fell. And then she also does uh, some reality show reviews, amongst other things. Mostly, uh, she does a lot of uh, um, <clears throat> makeup, fashion, hauls, and um, uh, health and uh, wellness. Those are like the main things that she does. But she also does the reality stuff but it was the reality stuff that brought me to the channel so first one that I subscribed to <clears throat> do you still talk to your first love no first kiss uh I was nine yeah I was nine uh wait was I not hold, hold on yes yes I was thinking about sub bells like I said I, I was a bad little boy back then I was nine <clears throat> when I got my first kiss and I do believe yeah and I'll talk more about that because it's like another question so I don't want to kind of like jump too far ahead first alcoholic drink <clears throat> here's the thing I don't know what it was uh, and like I said my mother got mad at me because I told her this story but uh, like I said I was young I'm, I'm, I was probably maybe like somewhere between 5 and 7 so I was sitting on my grandfather's lap boy was on probably 5 <clears throat> and he had something to cup and you know as kids it's like oh my god so I'm like granddaddy I want some all he said is, you sure? <laughs> I was like, yeah. Oh, some real shit. I don't, I know it was alcohol because after I, after it hit right here, when I say that shit burned, first time I had alcohol, like, I lost my motherfucking mind. See, I'm not, it, I've known kids to like accidentally eat the uh, alcohol and chocolate. See, that would have been more better. But no, I, and he drank that shit straight. So, whoo. That shit was rough. <laughs> that was my first alcoholic drink when I was young. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe that's the reason why I drink now. I don't know. <laughs> uh, first car, Honda Civic. Um, first job, I uh, did an internship at uh, South Shore Banking Center. Uh, it was when I was a part of uh, Upward Bound. And <clears throat> I wanted to do something uh, mathematics related since, you know, my major was uh, mathematics, minor secondary education. So I was like, yeah, you know, internship at a bank. No shit. I did nothing <laughs> dealing with the bank. All they had me doing was filing paperwork and shredding. Like I went home every day with a fucking headache because all the fucking filing that I had to do fucking sucks. <laughs> My first pet was a dog. His name was Fido. Uh, like I said he was yellow. I don't know what he was, but he was a mutt. And he was a hoe. Y'all, Fido was a hoe. Okay. 
It didn't. Here's the. It didn't matter what we did with the fences. Fido jumped over the motherfucking gate. We know he went. He got his swerve on, but he faithfully always came back home. It was one of those where <clears throat> he was a rolling stone, but his home was always in the backyard. But when I say he went and he did his thug dizzle, he did his thug dizzle. Miss that dog. I'm pretty sure he got put down. Ain't nobody tell me what happened to him. They want to say he ran away, and I'm looking at their asses like he ran away. If he ain't run away all these other motherfucking years, what the fuck made him run away now? The fuck out of here. Um, <clears throat> I, the, my first uh, celebrity crush is my current celebrity crush, uh, Angela Bassett. On some real shit, like I kid you guys not, when I watch Waiting to Exhale, I don't know what the fuck it won. Like I said, she is a beautiful, beautiful black queen. I love Angela. And she has aged, you know, gracefully. I think she's like, what, 51, 52? And she's still snatching motherfucking wigs. You feel what I'm saying? And in her body. Lord have mercy. But <laughs> I digress. But watching her and waiting to exhale, I don't know what it was. And I think it's because I was raised around all women. And I know some women that will fucking take it there. But just seeing her burn up her man shit and set a motherfucking car shit on fire. You know, I was mad at that, but it was just something about that and that ferociousness. And I don't know, it was a fucking turn on. All right, I'm probably exposing too much of myself right now, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, first boyfriend slash girlfriend. <clears throat> my first girlfriend, her name was uh, Mary. Uh, she was a cousin to one of my uh, classmates, and it, it was uh, during one summer. I was nine. Uh, someone hit it off this and third I was nine years old and weirdly enough it was on the 4th of July and we kissed and <clears throat> of course it's fireworks because it was the 4th of July it was one of those where you know they're going off as we're kissing you know one of those uh, moments that I will not forget um, <clears throat> what I will say is uh, you know fuck that bitch and it's not <clears throat> because of that it's mostly because of the simple fact that she uh can't like I said she stayed in Mississippi so like I said I'm faithful I'm loyal as fuck I waited a whole year for her to come back the next summer was, you know like let's pick up where we left off straight up hit me with the whole oh you know I only use you to get my ex back so pretty much just yeah I was like well you're a bitch that's all I can fucking say is like you don't, you don't sit here and toy with motherfuckers hearts and shit you know, like, <clears throat> I was young. That was fucking puppy love. And look what the fuck happens, you know. So fucking pissed. Weirdly enough, I actually ran into her uh, one summer in Mississippi. My mother and I went down there. Ran into her as I believe it was either Walmart or Kmart or some shit. I looked at her. She looked at me. And I smoothed what the fuck off on. I ain't had shit to say to her. That was weird. The fact that out of all of Mississippi, I ran into her ass. And she, she was from, in the vicinity of Starkville, which is where my mother's family is from. I'm just like, interesting. <clears throat> what else? First person to text me today. Well, not a lot of people text me today, but fuck. Let me see. Hold on. Because it was work related. No doubt. I can sit here and assure you it was work related. Yes. And it was, uh, you know, uh, somewhat, like I said, someone that I am responsible for. And that's all that I'll say. Because I don't want to put all my business out there. Even though some of y'all pretty much know. So y'all, I'll let y'all read between the lines. <clears throat> First grade teacher. It would have been easier had, it, had they said second grade teacher. Because I know for sure who my second grade teacher was. But if I'm not mistaken, I think my first grade teacher, I think her name was uh, Mrs. Uh, Smith. Pretty sure. If not, second grade teacher, Miss Simmons. I, I remember her. Um first sleepover <clears throat> I don't really know if it counts but I've never really had a sleepover outside of anybody that lived in my family so it's all been family and it was with my first cousin Dennis first sleepover um <clears throat> first thing you did this morning took a piss yeah you wanna know the first thing I fucking did that's what the first thing I did I took a fucking piss um First concert I went to, it was uh, Nelly and the St. Lunatics, and I guess the, the shit was fucking hype, you know. Like I said, I don't know what it was, but just the whole ambiance, the atmosphere, being out with my family and whatnot, like, it was an interesting, crazy-ass night. Um, <clears throat> first broken bone? None. Unless I have a broken bone that I don't know shit about, I have no broken bones. 
first movie I remember seeing, it has to be Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie that I can remember. I know I've seen other movies before that, but I know I can distinctly say I remember watching that. Um, <clears throat> first sport ever involved in. Um, you guys are probably gonna be like, the fuck? Uh, boxing? <clears throat> And it was more or less, I wasn't hitting anybody, I was fucking getting hit. Uh, like, let's just say, growing up, with, you know, growing up Yarell <laughs> uh, was rough. And let's just say, having an older brother, uh, I became a punching bag, literally and figuratively speaking. And I will just leave it at that. Um, first tweet, I don't remember more like because I have two different Twitters one is a personal one is uh for spilling all the tea I'm pretty sure the first one for spilling all the tea had to do with one of my damn videos so there we go uh first profile pic um for spilling all the tea it was the teacup for obvious reasons you know and it, and part of it was also I didn't want to show my face just yet even though I'm showing my face in my videos but I didn't want that to be like on there because again trolls and what I do for a living I don't need a lot of my coworkers in my business, but slowly but surely, you know, the longer I do this, they're going to know. So, whatever. And first piercing. Believe it or not, I don't have any piercings. Uh, like I said, piercings or tattoos are, are not for me. So, that's it. That is uh, a list of my first. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys learned a little bit about me. And hopefully I was able to entertain you guys throughout this video. So... With all that being said, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.